right, for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time for my featured artist of the week, the awesome uh, Lost Joe. He's live with me in the studio. Are you all right there, Joe? How's it going? Can you hear me, Joe? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, mother? Hello? 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 Is there anybody there? Can you hear me, Joe? Yes, I can hear you. Can hear you. Oh, you well, 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 thanks for letting me know, Joe. I'm sitting in the dark, man, talking to myself. You know what I'm saying? So how have you been, Joe? You okay? I've been doing pretty good. What have you been up to, then? Well, I just got done working. Just done working. So you've been uh, you've, you've been around a bit, haven't you, with the... Uh, in the music business, what, how long have you been uh, playing music? Well, I started in 1981, you know. Okay. Friends of mine wanted to get a band together, and they needed a bass player. So I went to the to mom and, hey, go buy me a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and she did. Yeah, we went right down to the store and bought one. My first bass was uh, a Heyman forty forty. Wow. Thing weighed like fifty pounds. <laughs> and did you uh, could you play it before, or, or did you did you learn straight off from that, or did you oh, learn, no. did you learn I, did you learn on stage? No, no. I do a lot of practicing. All right. Okay. So what so what was that band called? Uh, we didn't have a name. We were just kids in high school. My friend well, Tim Britton was a drummer. And Kyle Vandell was a guitar player. So what sort of music was it? did you play? What were your influences? Uh, the Who. Bob O'Reilly and, and such. Yeah. That's an English band, huh? Sure is. That's not a southern band. Not at all. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of those interviews, Joe, isn't it? I can see it. I can see it coming up. So we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play one of your tracks first of all, and I'll have a look and see which one it is. And you've got a you've <laughs> you've got a very strange way of uh, of naming your tracks, haven't you? Because this one's called uh, Fred Two, <laughs> because I think it's the second one you did with Fred. Is that right? Actually, it was the first I did. So can you tell us about Fred 2? What's Fred 2 about? Well, I was on vandalism one day, and out of the blue, I, I get a, a message from Fred. He just lives down the road for me, and I said, let's get together. And this was uh, straight off the first time we, we played, I recorded it. So this is straight off the bat, yeah? Just straight off the bat, this was the first thing we did.
That's my feature artist of the week, uh, Lost Joe there, with Fred and a track called J Fred 2. That was a good track, <coughs> there. Did you, did you enjoy doing that? I sure did. <coughs> so you were telling yeah. me the other day that you've... Um, sorry, go ahead. You're going to talk. Okay. It really surprised me how it turned out for, for just meeting for the first time. Two yeah, perfect strangers, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you just live around the corner from each other. I'm sorry, what? But you just live around the block from each other, yeah? Well, lives in the next town over. Town called Brooklyn. Oh. Wow, that's interesting. So uh, I know that you've uh, you, you've built a studio uh, with, with a friend of yours. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Well, my friend, yeah. Um, he went down his house, and across the street, his father had a barn that was ready to be torn down. So we took it apart, and we drug it across the road and he built a studio with a, you know, really nice stone and really nice woodwork. Cause that's what he does. He's a carpenter by trade. Okay. So you built a studio. Yeah. And, um, and then what? Well, people just started hanging out, you know, different musicians from all over the, where I live, you know, I got to meet lots of nice people, and I recorded with them. Hung out, you know. It was just a place the people came together. So, is that where you do most of your? Is that where you record most of your stuff now? Most of it, yes. So, the next one we got from you is called uh, Joe's Thirteen. What's that one all about? Well, it was a point in time in my life when I was really depressed, and, and this is what came up. Do you think we should play it? Sure. <laughs> I, I'll let so is, is, is Mrs. Joe Lost there? Is she with you today, there tonight? No, she's not here tonight. She's not here. Damn. I was going to speak to her about you. But <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it this won't is, help uh, one bit <laughs> it won't help a one bit no I don't kiss it will this is Joe's uh, Joe Loss and uh, Joe's 13 I think that's what it's called
she took me by the hair, held me to the cross with said your love would last forever. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> That's your some uh, Lost Joe there, and uh, Mrs. Lost Joe and her underwear, which was which was very nice. Uh, how long did it take you to do that uh, jingle, Joe? It was brilliant. Uh, it took me about fifteen minutes. Fifteen but minutes. I really had, yeah, and I really had to talk her into doing it too, because <laughs> she didn't want to. Well, she's a superstar now on Loop Radio. She certainly is. So uh, we Thank first you. met, I think it was on, we, we first met on looperman.com, I think, didn't we, a while ago? Yeah, it's been about three, four years now. Yeah, I'm losing so, track uh, of time. Do you, do you still, do you still get on that, on that, that site much? Do you still do much on there? Well, I'll send a track every once in a while, but I haven't really been on there. I've been sticking to um, cinematic music. Okay. You've been getting a bit of verb. Uh, Burton Philbrick stuff. He's a Fat Cat's Four. He's a bit of a cinematic uh, horror f- horror freak, isn't he? Old, old uh, Fat Cat. He sure is. He's he's awesome. Yeah. He makes some good stuff. So uh, so, what are you uh, what have you got lined up for the future? Are you doing uh, are you doing anything at the moment? No, not really. I've been looking for you know trying to get a band going, but everything just falls apart. You know, people. So would that be to record or just to, to do gigs or what sort of band are you looking to do? Yeah, I want to get out there and start playing again. Hmm. You know, hit the bar scene and, you know, whatever. Do it for free. Right. Yeah, it's, it's tough, I guess. Um, 
Are you, are you quite are you near a, a, a big uh, a big town or a big place where there's a lot of people, or are you out in the sticks, or where, whereabouts are you? Well, I'm from Dubois, Pennsylvania. It's about twenty thousand people. But other than Broadway, which players. is about oh, well, there certainly <laughs> is a lot of them. <laughs> there's got to be over a thousand bands around here. Really? My God, we're not short on music. What sort of what sort of music is it? Well, around here people are starting to like heavy metal country. I don't know why, but that seems to be their biggest thing. Heavy God metal country. Us. Heavy metal heavy country. Metal country. I, I, I don't think this really. I mean, uh, it sounds like something that Sam Jones would invent. <laughs> but it's the truth, heavy Sam. Metal. <laughs> Every metal country. My God, hell, whatever next. Well, we hope you're not going to go down that line and do heavy metal country, Joe, because we love what you do at the moment. I love heavy metal, but I hope you know country. You were doing a thing with uh, with Pete Tibar, I think, weren't you, a while ago? <clears throat> yeah, I sent my part to him, you know. We're just waiting for him to put together... Pretty sure it's going to turn out pretty good now. But there's no hurry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a busy guy. He's he sure guy. is. I guess he'll. Uh, yep, he'll get around to it soon. And uh, and I think we're going to do something together soon. So uh, Sam Jones was telling me that we're going to do a, a track together. Is that right? Yeah, I'm from <laughs> the dark side. <laughs> from the dark side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it would be dark, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's be honest. If Sam Jones involved, so uh, you've done a few collabs with uh, with people, and uh, I know you've you've done with uh, Surge seventy seven. What what was yep. that like? With him. What was that like to do that track with Surge seventy seven? Hello. <laughs> okay, you've also right, done a track with. <laughs> you've done you've done a track with Kerry Green too. Yes. Yeah, Carrie Green and, and Dave Mann. So, uh, how did that one come together? Well, Carrie posted this um, piano piano track, and Dave added drums and and his take on it. And I was listening to it one day, and I thought, well, I got all these lyrics stuck in my head. You know, I believe it would fit perfectly. And so, I asked if I could give it a shot. And, and this is the result. Thank you. 
That's uh, Lost Joe there with Dale and Kerry and a thing called uh, Lost Forever. That was a really cool track. That was uh, you say hello. Is that your is that your son in the background catching fish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's my baby. That was a good track. That's my baby boy. That was a great track, uh, Joe. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming on the show. You've been a great uh, supporter of Loop Radio. Uh, well, since we started, really, and you know, we really appreciate it, all you do for us, and um, you, know, you, you get into a lot of the shows and stuff, and it's good. It's really good for you. Thank you for good having for me on. It was brilliant, and um, we hope you'll come back again when you're uh, rich and famous, and you're making lots of money. Sure. I'll be somewhere <laughs> else. I won't be here, though. <laughs> but I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. You sound like Swatchman again. Be hanging out Ladies with my and friends. <laughs> Everybody, give it up for the awesome Lost Joe. High quality music on the web every day. Loop Radio.